What if I told you that in three months, you could grow a quarter of a century younger? You'd probably think that this sounds like some kind of late night infomercial for desperate housewives or old people. But that is what a recent study resulted in. See, for a long time, some people thought that if you just simply replace your blood ever so often with the pure sterile blood of the young, you'd live longer. However, there hasn't been much proof that blood transfusions work. And it might be illegal. Or maybe a little immoral. But do not fret, because that is where this new study comes to the rescue. No longer do you have to contemplate sucking out the blood of innocent children to rejuvenate your body. Because in this study, the cells of participants age in reverse by the equivalent of a staggering 25 years, with something much less invasive compared to blood transfusions. See, most generally accepted ways to slow down aging today only slows down your body a tiny bit. So 25 years backwards is a major milestone to say the least. And what's crazier is that the method they use to achieve these results isn't limited to the ultra-wealthy. This modern, more ethical take on blood transfusions is pretty accessible to the average person. And in this video, we're going to break down what happened, how they did it, what this means for the future of humanity, and if you stick to the end, we'll go over how you may be able to give yourself this very same treatment right now for not that much money. This video was brought to you by Brilliance, the best place to learn skills in a new way that are fundamental to feels like immortality. Skills like computational biology, scientific thinking, the essentials of science with fun and challenging interactive explorations. Or maybe you're interested in other revolutionary fields like cryptocurrency, artificial neural networks, quantum computing. Whatever it is, Brilliant allows you to get the foundation you need to leave your mark on this world with their 60 plus courses. Stay tuned to the end of this video to learn more, or pause the video right now and join over 8 million people learning on Brilliant by going to brilliant.org slash jaketrend to sign up for free. The first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. That's brilliant.org slash jaketrend with the link below. To understand how to cure aging, we first have to understand what causes aging. And don't worry, as always on this channel, we're going to try to explain the science behind this stuff as simply as possible so we can focus on the bigger picture. Aging is one of those great mysteries in life that's up there where how consciousness works. So there's still much debate on what really causes aging. So this study tackles one of the more popular theories. The ends of our chromosomes have what's called telomeres. You can think of telomeres like the plastic ends on your shoelaces that keeps them from fraying. Basically, these telomeres are structures made up of DNA and proteins that protect our DNA to make sure they get properly copied when cells divide. When DNA gets copied, a tiny portion of the ends get cut off. So some genetic information gets lost in translation. Kind of like when a copy machine cuts off some text at the bottom of a page. This is where telomeres come in. They basically act as extra printer paper to catch any genetic information that would have been otherwise cut off when your cell divides. And just like printer paper, over time, your supply runs out. As cells divide more and more, your telomeres get shorter and shorter until there's not enough left. And when your telomeres have been exhausted, that cell can't divide anymore and it turns into a zombie, a senescent cell. As the nickname implies, senescent cells stuck around don't die and act as zombies, feeding off surrounding cells and causing harm to your body. These zombie cells contribute to horrible things like diabetes, heart disease, and more. And the longer you're alive, the more your cells replicate. The more your cells replicate, the shorter your telomeres get. The shorter your telomeres get, the more zombie senescent cells you get. Which leads to more aging and you having a higher chance of catching those horrible health problems we just mentioned. But it's not just time that shortens your telomeres. It can also be things like smoking, not exercising, stress, etc. In other words, the length of your telomeres acts as a good marker for your biological age. How worn down your body is at the cell level. And for a long time, researchers have only been able to slow down the shortening of your telomeres by a very small amount via drugs and basic things like diet and exercise. That is what researchers at the Tel Aviv University were about to change. To not just slow down the shortening of your telomeres, but to actually regenerate telomeres to make them longer. Basically, they were able to make cells age in reverse and were able to get rid of a lot of the zombie cells at the same time. And the unlikely method they used to reverse aging Pressurized Oxygen Chambers Hyperbaric oxygen chambers are basically where you lay inside a tube that's pressurized with 100% oxygen. It is basically like taking a dive down to about 30 meters. This combination of both pressure and oxygen allows your blood and lungs to fill up with more oxygen than it otherwise would have. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy has actually been around for a while and has been used to treat a ton of stuff. 
like decompression sickness for scuba divers, serious infections, bubbles of air in your blood vessels, healing tissue faster, and much more. There really are a multitude of benefits, the first of which is healing your natural tissues. One of the professors involved in the study has been using these oxygen chambers for years to improve things like brain function damage by age, stroke, and brain injuries. But up until now, no studies have ever tried to see if hyperbaric oxygen therapy could help us deal with telomere shortening or to fight off those zombie cells. Now, it was time to see if these chambers could help humanity defeat the one enemy we've been fighting since the dawn of time. Duff. So here's what they did. They took 35 adults that were 64 or older. These adults didn't have any existing cognitive decline and were in overall decent cognitive shape. The researchers measured the patient's telomere length and the amount of senescent cells beforehand to get a baseline via blood samples. And these 35 subjects were then put through 60 oxygen chamber sessions over the course of 3 months, at 5 sessions per week. Each session in the chamber was set at 100% oxygen at 2 absolute atmospheres, or 2 times the air pressure at sea level. And the patient was staying there for 90 minutes with 5 minute air breaks every 20 minutes. To keep everything controlled, researchers monitored the patients to make sure they kept their nutrition, exercise, and medication the same as before. And throughout the study, they would measure the participants' telomere lengths and senescent cells at the 30th and 60th session, and at the first and second week mark after the sessions ended. This is what they found. Each of these graphs are for the telomere lengths for different kinds of cells that help our bodies fight off disease and cancer. So the bigger the bar, the better. And as you can see, thanks to the oxygen chamber therapy, all the telomeres of these important cells grew by a significant amount, with some telomeres repairing nearly 40% of its length. Or in other words, these telomeres age backwards into a younger state. The same is true when researchers measured how many of those zombie cells remained during and after the therapy. Again, each graph is for different types of helpful cells that have turned into senescent cells. In this case, the lower the bar, the better, because less zombie cells with one of them decreasing another staggering 37% post-therapy. So what does all this mean for you? Well, for the first time, we've discovered that by simply putting yourself in a glorified tube for 90 minutes a day, you can age a pretty important part of your body, your blood cells, backwards by the equivalent of 25 years. And after just three months of sessions, your blood cells telomeres could grow upwards of over 20%, and your zombie cells could decrease by 10 to 37 percent. And what's even better is that if you live in or near a major city, there's probably multiple places that offer hyperbaric oxygen therapy near you, with most estimates online being around $200 per session, which comes up to $12,000 if you want to do all 60 sessions just like the study did. Is 12 grand a lot of money? Absolutely. Should you do this yourself? It depends on how much money you have to throw around. If you're older, you've done well for yourself, your chances of getting diseases that comes with older age are starting to stack up a little higher than you're comfortable with, and you're willing to experiment with your body, well, if this gives you a chance to maybe spend a few more days, a few more months, or maybe even a few more years on this planet, you might happily pay $12,000 to enjoy life just a little longer. Not medical advice, by the way. Definitely not a doctor, even though my parents wanted me to be. You doctor yet? But not all hope is lost if you're not rolling in cash. Nowadays, you can pick up your own personal hyperbaric chamber for around $22,000, which if you plan on doing this longer than 5-6 to six months, it might be worth it. Just keep in mind that this particular one only goes up to 1.3 absolute atmospheres, whereas the study went up to 2. How would that affect your results? I have no idea. But as this technology gets more attention as more people are interested in doing this kind of therapy, prices will go down. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, because this discovery isn't without its limits. The biggest limitation is that at the end of the day, the study only had 35 participants. 35 participants that were all 64 and older, so we don't know if we see the same drastic effect on younger people. We also don't know how long these results would last or how often people will have to keep up these sessions. But on the other hand, these results are a little too impressive to ignore. And at the end of the day, the dream of immortality is a far off one, but at least this is a step in the right direction. Immortality research is about as cutting edge as it gets. But the thing about research and science is, let's be honest, it's pretty intimidating. But if you want to be on the cutting edge, if you want to partake in revolutionary fields like this that leave an impact on humanity, well then that is where today's video sponsor comes in. Brilliant. I myself love watching educational videos on YouTube, 
but you get to a point where you can only learn so much without actively putting your brain through the paces. It's the equivalent of learning how to drive a car through watching videos without actually getting behind the wheel in a safe environment to put your skills to the test. And Brilliant allows you to do just that. Their 60 plus courses are all crafted by award-winning teachers, researchers, and professionals from MIT, Caltech, Duke, Microsoft, Google, and more. To allow you to have that fun interactive environment to actively learn things like machine learning, chemical reactions, programming with Python, science and technology are moving at breakneck speeds with plenty of humanity altering opportunities to take advantage of. But none of that matters if you don't have the skills. So the clock is ticking. Join over 8 million people learning on Brilliant by going to brilliant.org slash jaketrend to sign up for free. And the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. That's brilliant.org slash jaketran. The link is on the screen and in the video description below. If immortality is something that you're interested in, be sure to check out our other video essay on the subject that goes over other ways researchers around the world are tackling the disease of aging that are completely different from this method. Ironically, this topic of immortality has been one of the most polarizing topics on this channel. Apparently, you guys are okay with robbing banks, assassinations, organized crime, but living forever? It's foolish, unethical, it takes away all the meaning of life. Which are valid points, mind you. Let me know in the comments below because I do try to read all of them and it's good for the almighty YouTube algorithm. I'm out of time right now so I didn't have time to record a typical outro, but thank you for watching. Subscribe for more video essays just like this on the most thought-provoking stuff in the world of business. If you want behind the scenes stuff, day in the life kind of stuff, memes, equally thought-provoking quotes that I come across in my reading that you're not going to hear anywhere else, you can follow me on Instagram at jaketrend.io and play your part in helping me not be a pleb anymore by getting me up to at least 10,000 followers. Stay dangerous out there, and I'll see you guys in the next one.